On His Blindness is a poem which centers Milton's faith in God. It is an autobiographical sonnet. C1, here you have to attempt a test or assignment which carries 10 marks. So here we are going to learn about punctuation. Hello everyone, I am Mrs. Srina, lecturer, Department of English at Vidyashram College, Mysuru. Here in this introductory session, let us go through the syllabus prescribed by the University of Mysuru for second semester BCA students. So in this semester, the syllabus is divided into poetry, prose and language component and literary activity. So we are familiar with the first two forms of literature that is poetry and prose. So in this semester, we are going to explore more about these two forms. And the third one is language component and literary activity. Language component plays an important role in achieving clarity in speaking and writing. So now let's look into the poem which we are going to analyze in this semester. So there are five poems which we are going to analyze in this semester. The first one is On His Blindness by John Milton. On His Blindness is a poem which centers Milton's faith in God. It is an autobiographical sonnet in which the poet expresses his feelings as a blind person. Milton became blind at an early age, that is when he was 44 years of age. Here he expresses his fear, frustration and acceptance in this poem. And the second one is Sower, which was written by Victor Hugo, French poet and novelist. And this was translated by Toru Dutt. Sower here refers to the farmer. And this poem is about the struggle of a farmer and his firm determination in doing whatever he can even when others go away. And the theme of this poem revolves around hardworking and hope. And the next poem is Once Upon a Time by Gabriel Okara. This poem was written in the backdrop of Nigeria's independence. And this poem is a conversation between a father and his son and it focuses on the fa on a father's attitude towards the cultural change and also it reflects upon the artificial relationship and manners prevailing in the present world so there is a wide comparison between the past and the present in this poem and the fourth one is I am not that woman by Kishwar Nahid. So this poem is a feminist poem. And this poem is about the deep-rooted prejudices against women in the Eastern culture. And the theme of this poem is women, emancipation and empowerment. And the last poem which we are going to analyze in this sem is Remembrance by Mamang Dai. Mamang Dai is based in Itanagar, the capital of Arunachal Pradesh, and she is a naturist poet. In this poem, 
She uses the beauty of the people who lives in the natural environment. She admires the beauty of the nature and also she reflects the impact of the war and how soldiers and outside world had influenced the tribal people living in the beautiful nature. This is about the poetry which we are going to analyze and we can learn this in detail in our next sessions. Next, let us move on to the prose. So under prose, we are going to read Pepe, My Greatest Olympic Prize, Letters from the Diary of a Young Girl. So let's look into the first prose, that is Pepe by Maxim Gorky. So Pepe is a short story written by Maxim Gorky and it deals with the Italian working class, their life and their struggles or sufferings. This story is centered around a 10 year old boy named Pepe who belongs to a poor family and who is frail or weak physically but very clever mentally. And the second one is my greatest Olympic prize. So this is also a short story which describes Jesse Owens experience at the Olympic Games which was held in the year 1936 at, in Berlin. Here he successfully describes the true spirit of Olympic Games and how he found a friend for life named Luz in Berlin. And the last process, letters from the diary of a young girl. So this is, is an autobiography written by Anne Frank. Anne Frank is a Jewish girl who goes hiding during the World War II in an annex and she stays there for two years. So during Second World War, many people tried to save their life. So they went on hiding to save themselves from the atrocities of the Nazis. Like that, while Anne Frank when she was staying at the annex, she used to write her experience in this diary, which was gift gifted by her father for her 13th birthday. So here also we will go through this prose in detail in our next sessions. Next is about the third part that is language component and literary activity. So here we are going to learn about punctuation. We all know that punctuation plays an important role in framing a complete and clear sentence. Without punctuation, we will not get a clear sentence. So in punctuation, we are going to learn the usage of capitalization, comma, period, that is full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, quotation mark, and apostrophe. And the next one is, we are going to learn how to frame the questions, that is using WH words and S or no questions. So the third one is use of negatives. For example, they will not be writing letter to each other. So in this sentence, the word not is negative. So when we remove that not, 
like they will be writing the letter to each other it becomes affirmative sentence or positive sentence and also we are going to learn about linkers or conjunctions so these are the words conjunctions are the words which joins two words or two sentences together and attempt reading comprehension so a passage will be given to you and you have to read it carefully and you have to attempt the questions asked below the passage next let us look into the exam pattern so here in the semester you will be having c1 c2 and c3 c1 here you have to attempt a test or assignment which carries 10 marks and c2 is also an assignment and test which carries 10 marks next is your semester examination which will be for 80 marks so total marks is 100 marks now let us look into the question paper pattern so here you will be asked a 10 comprehension questions okay so they will give you 15 questions from poetry and prose and it is to be answered in a word phrase or sentence out of 15 questions you have to attempt any 10 questions next one it is annotations so here out of four annotations you have to attempt two annotations and that will be from the poem so you have to go through the poem you have to carefully read each and every line of the poem and next one is out of four essay type questions you have to attempt two questions and it carries 10 marks each so it is total 20 marks again you have two essay type questions out of four from prose here also they will be giving four questions and you have to attempt two essay type questions and here also you can score 20 marks and at the last they are going to ask few questions from language component that is the grammar part and here also you can score and it is also for 20 marks so this is all about the syllabus which you are going to learn in this semester and also about the exam pattern and the question paper pattern hope you all understood this so let us continue learning in detail in our next sessions thank you